I've got these two 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries from my motorhome and today I'm going to show you how to wire them in parallel properly. The purpose here is to get the load even between the two so that they have the same current going through each battery. And I'm going to be making my own connections between the two of them with this gigantic 2 watt copper cable. And I'll explain that in just a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my cables done here on the bench and get everything the way I want, dry assemble it, and then reassemble it back in the RV. Now I've got uh, some 2 watt cable that I didn't know what to do with. And so I got some lugs here and they accept 2 watt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, basically a bus bar. So um, I need to mark this like this. Alrighty, and then um, the other one is going to be a different length because I'm going to put a fuse on. So let me go cut this. I'll be right back. Well, if you've ever worked with 2 odd cable, this is a lot of copper. Very hard to work with. Real stiff. I couldn't find my cable cutters, so I had to use a hacksaw. They say it fits. I'm not 100% certain. I think I'm going to have to cut a couple of those strands. Yeah. I have to do a little bit of whittling. Okay, that is one heavy duty cable. Not gonna be much voltage drop on that. Okay, now on one of these, so the way this is going to be wired is we're going to take power off, say, that lead, and then this lead on the negative, but not this one. 
and this will even out the current diagonally. And so one of these has to be a long bolt. And so that would be this one, because that's going to accept another uh, cable like this, all right? So now on the positive side, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this. On the positive side, what I need to do is I need to put in this fuse. So I'll get another cable here and then measure the new distance and then I'll do that off camera. So here I've installed the batteries up here in this storage cabinet and I got them up out of this tiny little box down at the bottom where I couldn't really get to them. But now I have enough room to put everything in here. So let me take this out of the way and I'll show you. So here are my homemade 2 aught bus bars. I've got the negative here and then the positive back there and I've labeled it red with the 100 amp fuse. Here's the ground going to the bus bar here on the one, this battery, and then the positive going to the bus bar is gonna be in the left-hand corner. And that will evenly balance the load up between these two batteries and have equal current going through each battery and also equal voltage. And that's the best way to do this. And then I've got them secured down here. I have a plywood floor so I can put these blocks in and these aren't going anywhere. Now here I've got the bus bars and then the CT meters right here. So now you only need one CT meter through the negative. And you, on this particular model, you can point the little plug towards the battery and that will monitor everything. It'll monitor all the solar going in, the loads going out, and the utility power going in. So all you need to do is connect your loads above that point and then you're good to go. Now, pay no attention to my DIY bus bars. These are temporary until I have the better ones coming in, but for now, these can easily handle the loads that I am doing. But anyway, uh, this is an equal length. See, I've got this cable here and this cable right here are brand new equal length to the battery and that is also important where you attach them so you don't have one longer than the other and you try to equal everything out. So that's it for today and I'll see you next time.